Good morning guys, it's Friday and I'm getting ready to go shoot with Tom. I've already packed my case. Was that even my case? Shooting the Dior Maxi saddlebag today, which I'm very excited about. And I've got this new top from Misbehave, which is really, really cute. Oh, I'm finally shooting the Korean Soul Lashores uh, loafers as well. Hey gang, so don't hate me, but I actually forgot to vlog any of the shoot day. Um, but it was very nice, it was very sunny, and it was very cold. I think that's the reason why I didn't really whack my camera out a lot, because I was freezing. It was sunny, but um, windy, so I was shivering. Because um, a lot of my tops were just like tight t-shirts, so I have that to look forward to. Um, I am back home now, and I'm doing a massive clear out, so naturally my room is a big mess. But basically, I'm sorting out piles of stuff that I'm going to sell on eBloggers. eBloggers is where I sell all my secondhand pieces. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But basically, my business is uh, based around clothes. So when I do collaborations with brands and stuff like that, I get sent whole new outfits. I'm very lucky and very privileged to be sent so many clothes all the time. But it does, however, have some disadvantages in that I don't have that much space. Even though me and Scott do live in quite a large flat, um, in new builds, you don't actually have that much storage capacity. So I've got the two rails in my room, which is my main wardrobe. I've got two cupboards in another room and one in the hallway, and they're all, like, bursting with clothes. Obviously, I want to keep the clothes that I will wear um, and that I love. In fact, most of the clothes that I sell are ones that I bought myself and that I just haven't worn in months or years. And this pile is mainly stuff that is mine, that I'm selling that I bought and just not worn, like jeans from ASOS and then jeans from Top Man. These are my favourite jeans from Top Man, the Carpenter jeans, but I bought them in two different colours and then never worn them. <laughs> so I figured it's time to let them go. Um, some tracksuits that I bought from like 90s back, which is now called 7th. Um, some pieces from AS Clo. This little jumper I wore over Christmas. And then this like contrast leather jacket, which a lot of people really, really like. So yeah, if you want to shop a bargain, you can do it on my e-bloggers. These boots from ASOS, which were kind of like iconic, but I've just not worn them for nearly two years probably. I figured that I'd wear them at festivals and stuff, but obviously not happened <laughs> in the past year. Um, so I think it's time to let some of these go. Oh, these cowboy boots that were from ASOS as well, they absolutely loved, but I just don't wear them. So there's no point in keeping stuff that I don't wear because uh, it's just taking up space. So yeah, this is my big closet clear out. So this is the bulk of everything that I'm clearing out at the moment. Got a few more bags, so I'll probably add some other bits in. I just have to like go through everything and think, what have I not worn in a while? As usual, I'll post on my Instagram story when all this goes live on eVloggers. You make sure you're following on Instagram, turn notifications on for my story or for my posts, so you'll definitely know when this stuff drops. Good morning guys, it is Tuesday. I was going to start vlogging yesterday and then yesterday turned out to be super, super stressful. So <laughs> I didn't vlog or if I did, I'm not using any of the footage. Um, the stress came from, there's many stressful things going on in life at the moment, but the most, one of the most important things to me is my clothing brand. And um, I don't want to say too much, but we are very, very close to launching now and basically something was incorrect on every single garment. So <laughs> I was like, stress the house, um, but it's getting fixed. Hopefully we won't add too much time to anything, so we should still be on track for everything. Obviously I can't, I just, I can't talk about it too much because I want it to be like a surprise. I want the big reveal, um, which will be here on YouTube, so. But if you're seeing this now, you're getting a little bit of the tea, I guess. But yeah, something was wrong, wrong with every single garment. Which is not fun when it's taken a year to... <laughs> it's taken almost a year, probably like 10 months, to just set this all up and get this, like, going. And it's very, very important to me. I've invested a lot of money in it. I've invested a lot of time into it. And I'm very proud of it. And I want it to... I know it's not going to be perfect. Like, it's never going to be perfect the first time you do something. 
um, but I want it to be as perfect as can be, especially with this. Once it's all revealed and like then vlog after, then I will tell you what exactly went wrong. So just hold your hold your fire. So I just got myself ready because I'm actually going to shoot again with Tom today and um, I will vlog the stuff that I do. Um, I'm wearing these three outfits laid out on the floor that I'm gonna pack in the case. And then I'm um, gonna head into Central. But it's quite nice this week as well because Scott is off work so we're gonna go into Central tomorrow just to like get some food. Obviously nowhere's open yet so we'll be getting food from takeaway places. Um, but I want to show Scott Egg Slut because he's never been before. So that would be nice. The next station is Cute. So it's got Huh? Scott has a day off, so we've actually left the flat and we are I'm taking him to Exluck. I'm an Exluck virgin. He is an Exluck virgin. I'm gonna make him try the slut. I'm gonna make him try the Fairfax and we'll see what he thinks. So here is one slut, and here are the burgers. Well, sandwich breakfast buns. Mm. Not really burgers, are they? No. But let's do this. How's the slut, Scott? Really good. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't really put like egg on top of mashed potato. Yeah. But actually, really well. <laughs> My cheeks are so rosy. Um, basically, I'm a bit hot and bothered because I'm trying to plan the photo shoot for my brand, for the website, for social media and that kind of stuff. Basically, we have a few variables. We have the studio, we have the model, we have the photographer, and we have the hairstylist. And basically, they're all free on different days. So it's like a Tetris puzzle that you're trying to fit together. There are other models I could work with, but I, but I really think the guy that we've found with this agency is really gonna work quite well for the brand. And then the studio is really cool as well. And then we have the hairstylist who's Ben, who does my hair, who I absolutely love. And I really wanted him to be a part of it. And then there's obviously Tom, the photographer, who shoots all my stuff as well. Basically, it's not gonna work like that because um, they're not all free on the same days. So we're gonna have to find a way that works that we can have most of that puzzle together. So it might be a case of finding a different studio, finding a different model, or I've always been a part of photo shoots, whether I've styled it or modeled, or, um, or I've never taken the pictures because I'm not a photographer, but I've never had to plan it to, the, to this extent. And I'm just like, I'm glad, well obviously there's going to be so many more shoots in the future which I'm very excited about but it's an experience I'll tell you that, it's like, yeah it's an experience. But yeah me and Scott had a really nice um, morning together, I'm glad he finally got to try Egg Slut. So I've just been planning stuff for the launch and I've also, also been buying supplies to, because basically it's a limited number of stock, basically you're getting their tea, if you're watching this vlog right now you're getting all the tea before it comes out, but basically it's a limited amount of stock. It's not enough, there's not enough stock to warrant a fulfillment center, like doing the packing and the shipping for me, because it would just be too expensive when it's like just the start. I'm like going in guns blazing, but it's, I have to remember it's a, it's a little seed and it's gonna, and I have to water it for it to grow. So me and Scott have taken it upon ourselves to do all the packing and shipping um, from the flat. Um, so I had to buy scales and I had to buy a label printer and I have to figure out how the hell all that works. So this is a great learning curve for me. This is, this has been a great experience so far. I've learned so much. Um, and I've learned how stressful and how long it takes to do this kind of thing. Um, but I'm very, very excited and I hope you guys are too. Basically, it's this week and next week are going to be very brand heavy. And if everything goes right, I should... 
I just don't want to say this in the vlog because then if it doesn't happen, I'll be so let down. But basically, the reveal video should be this Sunday. Oh, it feels so weird to say I'm like sweating thinking about that. Also, I don't want to build up the hype too much because I have gone very safe with this launch. And that's something that I've been worried about as well, that I've gone too safe. But then again, this is like the building blocks. And I think it's important to start with the building blocks. So Scott's making spaghetti bolognese this evening, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, and we caught up with uh, Black Clover last night and Attack on Titan last Sunday. It's so good at the moment. I don't want either of them to end. Sorry, anime talk over. I have to get back to planning this shoot. Good morning, guys. I'm in my absolute scruffs because I've just cleaned and tidied and I think this is the clean and tidy. This is the most, ignore that corner. This is the most clean and tidy my office has looked in a very long time. Good news, the studio have confirmed the shoot for my brand for next week. And then I think the model has confirmed as well, so. Fingers crossed. So I haven't really moved much since we last spoke because I have been putting together mood boards. I've been emailing people back. I've been getting shit done, to be honest. I'm now having a chicken katsu poke bowl from M&S. That doesn't look very appealing. Does this make it look more appealing? Stressing out about my own brand. I have um, been busy um, doing stuff to do with like collaborations for Instagram and here on YouTube as well, which is very exciting. I feel like everyone's gearing up for like the end of lockdown and it's gonna be like, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I think this happened last year as well and that I was like, for so long you think like, oh, I really want Oh, uh, one sec on the front door. Call from door panel. Delivery. Our front doorbell goes to our phones, which you think is very convenient, but it's actually very inconvenient. <laughs> um, I'd rather just have like a buzzer within the flap. Because when like both me and Scott are out, let's say someone is trying to deliver something and I answer it, and I'm like, oh, just leave it outside the front door. They're like, why can you not answer the door? And then they're like knocking at the door for ages because they think we're home because we've answered the door, but actually we're not home. I'm excited about the fact that lockdown is ending. They've not actually considered what it means for my social life and for just for my way of life in general. Like at the moment, I just wake up, do my little workout routine and then get on with my to-do list for the day. Whereas like that involves staying home. <laughs> so when it's not staying home every day, I'm getting a bit nervy. A bit scared. Plus, I don't think it will happen at once. I think it will be a slow trickle. Although I do have two lunch dates planned for the week that everything opens back up again. <laughs> I better go get that package. Guys, this was the delivery. I'm yet to fully reveal it, so I'm gonna do it with you. I feel like I've been watching too much Trixie Mattel, so what's in my head is delete it bald. Or oh, high flop. Okay, I don't know how to open this. <laughs> Okay, so we have an Adidas box. Guys, look at this. They're like little nets. Is it for basketball? What is this? Adidas Forum is in. This shoe has been a pinnacle of fashion ever since the 80s. The only difference is now it's had a contemporary shakeup and we're bringing this retro design back. The team at Adidas and ASOS. They're like a retro sneaker. But they're bringing them back out. Ooh. It's like a basket -y ball kind of thing. Classic Adidas, they're cute. Oh my god, a Polaroid camera. That is really fucking cool. And what is this? Ah! That's <laughs> sweet. Scott will be very, very happy about these. Quiz, dib dabs, double dip. I'm kind of shook. This is a crazy gift from Adidas and ASOS, so thank you so much. The forum sneakers are really cool. I think I'm going to style them with like some kind of tracksuit along those lines um, and play with this Polaroid camera. Hey guys, so it's me editing right now um, and I was worried that, that I didn't do enough stuff in the past week for this vlog to even be a vlog. Um, that's just in my head because it's clearly a vlog because it is a vlog. So I'm going to sign off now and then start filming for next week's vlog tomorrow. Um, thank you so much 
for watching. Uh, if you got this far, well done. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tea about my brand and hopefully if everything is going smoothly, then you will know more on Sunday. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go follow me on Instagram if you don't already and I will speak to you soon. Bye guys.